AI video has come a long way and new updates keep coming, like Runway Gen 4 just came out or Higgs Field's new camera controls. We're already able to achieve a lot of common movements, physics, and styles really well, but I wanted to push every video generator as far as I could with some really complex prompts to see where the limits are. I'll start with the most complex stuff that's already fully achievable, then move on to things that are close, maybe passable, and then get progressively more difficult, building up to the stuff that it fails miserably at, but is really fun to watch. The main models I used for all these are Runway Gen 4, Kling, VO2 from Google, and Higgs Field. So this also ended up being a de facto prompt battle between all the leading models. And I'll start with some shots that came out almost perfect, but would have been impossible just a few months ago. The one thing that used to be a big issue, but is mostly solved is object permanence or persistence through occlusion. That's how I see it worded in a lot of vision papers. But here's a good example. We have the reflection of a burning building in this eye. So that's already pretty difficult just on its own. Then the eye closes and the building is still there exactly how it was before. So it's able to remember the appearance and keep it consistent. And combining that with the fact that this is a reflection, it's an amazing shot. And this was using Gen 4 and really quick, I'll show how that worked. There's two options in here. You either upload your own image or you can generate an image to start from. There's no straight text to video option. And their generator frames is pretty good, but I didn't like what it came back with for this shot. I also tried it in ChatGPT's new image generator, Imagine from Google. But the one that came out the best was in Midjourney. For things that lean on the artistic side, Midjourney is usually my my favorite for a lot of coherence and prompt adherence. The others are usually more consistent. I just brought that in here and then added in a prompt. I did run it quite a few times. It came back well pretty much every time, but I wanted to get just the perfect shot. It did not work out as well in Kling or VO2. Here's another example of that object permanence. Here's a clown waiting for a bus. Then a car passes by, blocks him completely. Then he's still there after. I was actually trying to make this a shot where the car passed by and then he was just standing there when he was revealed again. More of a like horror movie vibe, but he kept standing up after the car had passed, which does make sense, but it wasn't exactly what I was going for. I could just add a mask and make it work though. All the tools have gotten much better with emotions too. Here's just a few shots that showcase that. And character persistence has gotten a lot better too. With any of these, the face doesn't change into a different person throughout the shot. That used to be a big issue. We've even got multiple characters all laughing together in this one. And the hands do get weird in this shot or most shots where there's a lot going on. But when done on their own, hands can look really good. Like this shot of someone playing a piano with the reflection. This was unimaginable not too long ago. I really liked this shot of a paper airplane flying out the window. Then it's able to have a new scene outside the window and stay coherent the whole time. Or this one of a focus shift between the foreground and the background. It has some movement with both of the characters as well. That's amazing. And most of the generators do well with all sorts of different styles. Anime was really good in VO2. And you can't even combine styles. I tried that with this one where the whole restaurant is pretty realistic, but then just a 2D cartoon of the waitress. But a lot of movements and other shots are now possible that used to be a huge struggle. I'll just let a bunch of things play through that it does well before we move on to the more challenging parts. Most of the time, I'm generating videos with AI to use as part of my YouTube videos. My favorite YouTube tool for strategy, ideation, and design is Spotter Studio, who sponsored this video. Here's a quick demo of the brainstorming process. So I'll type in a title idea. Now I can explode that out into different title ideas. I could do that by rewording. That can be really good. Or explode is great. Then you can keep iterating this way until you have the perfect title. So I like this one. Let's move on to the thumbnail. 
I just click brainstorm and it starts generating based on my title. Now I've uploaded my face before, so it generates using a similar face and I can make it more realistic or sketch based. I usually stick to concept art. I'm just workshopping ideas here. So I've got the title and thumbnail. This is just an amazing tool for brainstorming and quickly ideating. But the part I spend the most time in is the outliers tab. It's great for research to find what's doing well across YouTube or in your own niche. So I'll switch over to the audience also watched tab and I'll switch the filter to find stronger outliers also with in the last month and now it finds the highest outliers relative to that channel's other videos so now you can get an idea of what your audience is most interested in and what's trending this is a huge time saver since i used to do research like this manually also you can click brainstorm to just jump right into ideating based off of a topic you see here so spotter is an incredible tool that i've been using since before they were a sponsor of this channel you can start your free trial using my link down in the description so there's some stuff AI can do really well. It is amazing that all of this is possible now, but let's start to push it further. So that focus shift was nice and you're able to control camera movement much better, but the really complex camera movements like a whip pan didn't work in any of the leading generators except for the brand new update from Higgsfield. So I was trying the shot of a woman hiking and then I wanted it to whip pan to a wolf and that was failing in every generator. But then in Higgsfield, they have a bunch of preset shot types. I used the whip pan preset and it actually worked out. I mean, the whip pan is pretty slow, but I can speed that up in post and it looks great. And they have all sorts of preset shot types that can do just a ton of stuff you won't be able to pull off anywhere else. So another one of those I really liked in here was action shot. Fast moving action scenes can be pretty tricky. So I used it for this woman running from a T-Rex. It turned out pretty well, but Gen 4 had a pretty decent result too. And then I tried this one with some selective coloring. So it's all black and white, then her lipstick is red and I wanted her to add lipstick to the top lip. It did work after some rerolls and only in gen four. It's not 100% perfect, but pretty cool it was able to get that. And blowing out the candles was pretty difficult for all the others, but again, it was gen four that was able to nail it. I'm gonna say nail it. I guess it wasn't perfect, but pretty good. I was surprised by this one where VO2 got close to writing hello on a chalkboard in cursive. And it even looked like it was actually writing instead of the letters just like appearing randomly as the hand moved. And this was straight text to video, which VO2 is probably the best at, but image to video in VO2 is not as good. Now here's some shots that were close, but not quite. I tried to have it knock down dominoes. I made the scene as simple as I could. The only one that came close at all was Gen 4, but I still couldn't get it perfect. I kept wanting to tip it back the other way. The physics looked all right, with what it was doing. Not all the way there, but it was close enough that I feel like if I just kept re-rolling, eventually I'd get it right. One I was surprised it got even close to at all was breakdancing. This is obviously not perfect, but it's also not bad. Now, if you took the best moment and had a quick cut, this would be passable. Now, I was also surprised it got close to juggling. That one wouldn't be passable, but it was better than I thought. However, when I pushed that to a clown riding on a unicycle while juggling, not so much. And the not completely terrible juggling is extra surprising because it struggles with just basic throwing. Like this one of having someone toss their keys into the air, then catch them. And you know, it did well enough where you could, you know, work around that and cut to their hand catching them close up or something. But any more complex throwing gets even worse. And this is across all models. So shooting a basketball into a hoop is almost impossible to get. After around five tries in every model, this one was the best. And it was pretty close, but that was very much an outlier. Like most of them were just awful. So those are some of the shots that it can't get perfect, but with some editing, you'll be able to get away with. But I tried pushing it much further than that. There were some where I think it just had no idea what I was talking about, like trying to get a shot where someone is walking normally and everything around them is going in reverse. It's probably not worth even showing some of the other crazy attempts like that because it didn't even try. Some of the more interesting attempts, really fine, precise movements are near impossible. Like a close-up shot of someone threading a needle, I gave that one a bunch of tries. And shots with multiple actions are a struggle, especially when it involves multiple characters. I've been trying to get this one to work for a while where a dragon blows a flame into the cup, then she takes a sip. It doesn't seem like it should be that hard, but it is. With fight scenes, you usually either get slow single motions or a fast blur of movements. But sometimes you'll get something fast and clear like this one from Gen 4. Now things where people go upside down are some of the hardest. Here's some gymnastics. And here's just a few attempts at a cartwheel. Even 
even though we're not able to get the really complex stuff, amazing things are already possible. So I wanna just showcase a few of the best or most interesting I've come across. This one by Uncanny Harry, I thought was really cool. He did a bullet time shot in Higgs Field, then used the first and last frames as inputs in Luma, then got a full scene where the slowed down rotating shot is in the middle. It's an awesome proof of concept. This shot from the CEO of Runway had some amazing physics, like causing some splashes, then switching to a full underwater shot. And here's a full animated short Runway posted that was entirely generated in Gen 4. It's really good, it's like a full two minute story that doesn't feel AI. Like all the animations are smooth enough without all the inconsistencies that pull you out of it. We got this long shot of a fish swimming in 3D animation. It looks almost perfect. All done on their mobile app too. These bird people from Sway Molina. These are just super weird, but I love them. This one Alex Petrascu did with VO2 is just insane. I don't know what prompt he used for something like this, but the way all the glass assembles is just incredible. It pulled that off. Here's another one by him, but with wood assembling and interacting with her hair. I mean, that's just crazy. And this thread of influencer videos is just nuts too. Like some of these are basically indistinguishable from reality. And Javi Lopez got probably the best skateboarding shot I've seen. And here's a few more, just kind of surreal, but cool shots. already to the point where you can make videos indistinguishable from reality or create entire short films. This will only keep getting better. If you want to go way more in depth on learning AI on Futurepedia, we have over 20 comprehensive courses on how to incorporate AI into your life and career to get ahead and save time. You can get started for free using the link in the description or check out this video with 13 AI tools that can save you a thousand hours in 2025.